Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is Danish from jobskillshare.org and today I am going to pretend something. I'm going to pretend like someone out there in this world right now uh, and you're thinking that you just want to become a systems administrator. You don't want to become a help desk. You don't want to start with that technician job. You want to get that systems administrator job because that's what your friend told you. So I'm going to be like you today. So I'm I'm going to go to indeed.com and I put systems administrator, I put my my zip code right here and then I search. All right, cool. I did search and um I got some results and here I am going to look for how much are they paying around me? There seems to be a lot of jobs above 65,000. So I'm just going to go with the lowest because I feel like that's where I'm going to start if I want to start systems administrator position. And then I see Here are some systems administrator, system administrator one. Usually one would I would, you know, automatically think if they put one in there, uh then I feel like this is like a entry level type of job. So I'm just going to click on one. Oh, 5 years of experience. 5 years of experience. Uh, okay, provide for implementation troubleshooting IT systems. I feel like these are desktops, okay, I can do this. provide tier 1 help desk problem identification huh okay i, th- I thought i'm not do- going to do the help desk so why are they putting help desk in here ah huh, okay all right all right cool cool so let's move on provide assistance to users okay this is some basic stuff provide this provide provide tier 1 help desk and tier 2 escalation huh tier 2 and 1 okay that's just confusing man 6 years of supporting help desk activities Okay. Variety of software packages and local network issues, network issues. Oh, all right. Hmm, okay, I think I don't think I can do this job. This is not tier 1. This is not entry level. You know what? I'm just going to move on from this one. I'm going to start with this one. I think I like this one. All right. It's the systems administrator provides support to implementation, troubleshooting and maintenance maintenance of infrastructure, IT manages systems and processes blah 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 blah. blah. Again, provide tier one help desk and tier two. What is going on here? Are they copying each other? You know what? I don't like this one either. I'm gonna move on from this one. Okay. So I'm gonna move on from this one. I think I'm just gonna go somewhere. Let's just pick something junior. Oh wow. Okay. This is exactly what I needed. Job responsibilities include, but not limited to, daily review of event logs. Oh, all right, cool. I think I can do this. Some kind of logs, antivirus logs. Okay, I know how to install my malware bytes on my computer. I did that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Software patching report. Hmm, I don't know what this means, but I think I can learn this. Assist the senior system admin with backup configurations and restore testing hardware and software installation. I think I installed Chrome one time, so I think I can do this. And I have. Uh, to took out my you know uh hard drive from my laptop and put it back i think i can do this also maintenance of servers workstations routers and switches configuration of files and print services ad dns dhcp what is this what the hell is this all right let's cut this you know what let me tell you guys it is not going to work it is not going to work for people who are thinking that you're just going to search a systems administrator tile or here and then put your zip code and you're going to start applying for jobs even with jobskillshare.org it's not going to work you know you can't just take a one course or two courses or you just think that this is where you need to start from i have so many people coming to this platform jobskillshare.org okay this is a platform so many people come in here they type us that i want to i don't want to do help us The reason we tell people that this is not going to work unless you get lucky like I, I said in many many of my videos that you will land a job in IT any job if someone is your friend or someone knows you or someone however they just give you the job that can happen in IT this is not some kind of like a doctor type of job where you need to show some certifications and practice and stuff like that you know your residency all that kind of stuff doesn't work in IT but nowadays 90 5% I'm going to give that 5% to luck 95% in reality you're not going to get these jobs because the problem is that you do not know these things you do not know DHCP group policy networking basic troubleshooting with networking uh, equipments and stuff like that it is not going to work okay so that is where why people are paying 65,000 to 100 plus 100k is a lot of money for someone to pay you and you don't know this stuff so let's 
let's clear this in our head that this is the advanced level job this is advanced title you need to get to it by actually starting from help desk or some other titles where you are actually working on systems where you know this stuff from basics okay so let's get real and how is this going to work now i'm not going to talk about the help desk if you want to start with the help desk i have done over 700 videos on youtube on help desk so there's no point we're going to talk and waste our time in this video for system administrator this is specifically for you to transition after help desk so if you want to become that it person you're listening to this video for the first time make sure to go to jobsclashare.org go to the home page and start with the help desk course it's right on the home page so that will explain everything about the help desk into the position now if you want to transition from help desk to system administrator job i should put systems in there now this is where you need to really work on getting into this title and knowing the core technologies and learning for example the one that have they they even write it right here ad active directory dns dhcp and group policy and even more than that now cloud systems and everything okay so just like in a help this title we have created a it fundamental v1.0 where we explain everything from scratch everything from scratch we even talk about where are you coming from are you a student are you a transitioning are you a, a customer service person whatever you are let's just talk about you first then we slowly move into the real courses after even in that we offer live training in this tab too so to kind of make it a little quicker we offer live training for the same things that we're teaching self-paced self-paced is more of like you can finish it on your own in a few months and then you still have to come back to self-paced forever because we keep this updated it's a title based learning it's a real world learning it is not mostly theory but at some point we may guide you to do the theory before you get into the real world so in this case to become a systems administrator and land this job you need to know a lot of things uh, especially in transitioning mode you need to know some of the things that you have been touching but now you need to get in it if you were working on active directory and resetting passwords for the past six months now this is the time you need to build an active directory if you were working on you know switching and routing this is the time you need to at least at basic level create some kind of subnets and work on that if you were working on imaging computers and just doing like a you going to a desktop and you were following some instructions this is the time for you to build that imaging serve if you are working on a website and you are doing some basic restarts or recycling pools on IIS server now this is the time for you to build an IIS server from scratch and how are you going to do that this is where we are going to help you we have designed this course to make the transition being a realistic dream for you because a lot of people are stuck in the help this uh, jobs right now or the entry level jobs or if they're brand new first of all if you're brand new to IT then I already told you that you that's not gonna happen you're gonna go from help this route so then you're gonna come back to the help this finish that courses it's a hands-on courses a lot of cool stuff in there a lot of hands-on labs then you're going to come to this point after the help this course even though we suggested right here that you should do this course right here you can click on it and then it will take you I'll, I'll share this link now this is where all of the stuff that I'm not gonna go through right now but you're going to learn all of this stuff in this course now in this course we are not going to be making you a full systems administrator remember systems administrator is a pretty broad title you could be a system administrator for uh, some other things like virtualization, you know, or cloud systems administrator or security systems administrator. It's a pretty big area. But most of the time people can get in by just learning one site pretty good like Microsoft servers. And this way, at least you can tell people that you know a lot of things about systems administration, that core technologies, core learning and stuff like that. For example, we will start with before we start the lecture, kind of like, you know, the same thing that we're doing in this video real world scenarios like a day in a life as a system administrator there's a full video that we have almost five minutes we show you everything from scratch what what do we do on a daily life 
do you know this stuff kind of things you know if you think that you're still ready you think this is something really easy then test yourself by knowing do you know this stuff do you know that stuff can you answer it understand the IT infrastructure from scratch now it's it's more than desktop we gotta we gotta jump in and now we have to be the person to actually manage this stuff from really backend servers and things like that you know at the higher level networking fundamentals you really need to know this because if you don't know the networking fundamentals then it's going to be really hard for you to move up because you know you don't know the core learning and in this is where we are going to be sharing the way we did in IT fundamental v1.0 v1 that we are saying we're not going to reinvent the wheel and, and you know waste our time by just making one or two videos we are going to share what we have what we have is extremely powerful labs and they're already built for you to look at the tasks and apply it hands-on if it was just a video trust me I will not be doing this course because we have labs now this is why I'm doing this because you need this you need the hands-on skills when it comes to systems administration it's a it's an advanced job so you really need to know this stuff for example we are going to create the same way IT advisory video by talking about the concepts and why is it what is it going to be that you're going to be working in a real world like a real world scenario with these videos we're going to talk about it first and then you will do these labs hands-on configuring router now you really need to know this stuff configuring the firewall ipv4 ipv6 manage dhcp servers you will do the dhcp servers right here we will work on it dns stuff you cannot get away from dns stuff vpn stuff you cannot get away from that you will need to create this stuff so when you do this at the basic level at least you will know the networking side pretty good as a fundamental networking is a totally different field when you go to the cisco side and you'll become that network engineer here we're trying to become you make you a systems administrator but still for a networking guys or for a system administration guys or for any IT person or you know females whatever you want to call them this is going to be the core right here and then the security fundamentals you need to know this stuff now and then after that we're gonna go into the server administration um, course where you need to know about the group policy that you just uh, here in a real world this is a job right now AD DNS DHCP group policy and then you need to do this kind of practice here AD DNS group policy uh, right here raid and all that kind of stuff pretty cool stuff you're gonna do this hands on and then what we'll do is that okay we're saying that this these are fundamentals this is going to take you some time but you this is a solid way of transitioning then because now you're you're repeating yourself in a specific area again and again then we will give you access because you have a premium access then we'll tell you that now you need to go into a specific learning of MCSA which is a Microsoft certification and now you need to look at these videos and the demos learn the theory behind it come and apply on these in, in the same servers and everything and after that when you finish this this is where your transitioning to system administration will be a pretty solid start hands-on start after that it is really up to you if you want to jump into a specific Cisco certification because you really like the networking area maybe you like the 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 server side of it then you may want to take the CompTIA server plus with MCSA the the new one 2012 or the new the brand new one the 2016 servers are available this is something that now at this time you know your stuff and if you want to go to virtualization you can also do that and everything will be discussed in this first in this fundamental course you're going to start touching up on these labs and you're going to be starting to know okay this is something different than help this and this is why it is advanced because there's a lot of things happening in this okay so when you finish this this is going to be it this is going to take you away from this really uh, you know stuck up area where a lot of people are stuck they want to move away from help desk and now this is your chance to get into this course and we're like you said it says coming soon right now we're going to change that when we start the IT advisory videos for this course you need premium access and like I said premium access the reason you need premium access is because you need to get to different labs right here 
by going to membership. You need different labs to jump around for long time in this course. And after this course, you're going to be taking the MCSA and specific certification that we're going to do based on titles. Like we want you to become a full systems administrator. If you're going to do that certificate, then we will uh, teach everything about Microsoft servers uh, and other things. If you want to become a virtual system administrator, then we'll, we'll do the IT advisory based on the VMware stuff. So this is how you are going to be moving on. And again, can you come over here? And if you think that you can do all this stuff, then I'm telling you, you got that 5% chance to apply to these positions. There is nothing like that. You know, people may hire you, but again, even if you get hired, think about yourself. You are going to be working on these things on a daily basis. So do you want to be a stressful person while landing these jobs without knowing uh, or you want to really do these kind of hands-on practices and real-world courses and then, you know, uh, your work will be easy. That is the whole key about this. Now, a lot of people will say, okay, why is this not free? We can't do this for free. Honestly, we just cannot do this for free. We have done a lot for free. This is the stuff that, you know, you we pay for it. These are the labs. These are real servers. There's a lot of effort done on these labs. Extremely, a lot of efforts are done on these labs. And then the, these are the courses that we give you, 200 plus courses. So let's say, for example, this course is not, you know, something that you, you want to uh, do something, like I said, different. You want to take a full MCSA certification. Then you have ability to do that. You know, you can take any other courses online, YouTube and stuff like that. But then you have a paid uh, resources like, for example, this one, MCSA, um, we have full uh, certification courses. If you go to networking and systems right here, these are many, many, many different courses in a systems administration that you can talk, uh, you can take. So this is why we have to charge for this. And the reason for that charging is that it makes our life easy by doing the advisory. And we are really good at advisory because this is where we can help you more than just recreating one or two videos. That's going to take us a lot of time. This is where we are going to help our members to make the things go faster for them, to for them to move away from help desk and land the health systems administrator job. Thank you so much. If you have any questions about this video, make sure to comment and I will reply back. Thank you.